my name is Mosusine Koshian Mongo. I'm currently a student at UNISA, I'm doing the ed so I majored with um, consumer study and business studies. So today I'm doing assignments of consumer studies. So basically what I do, um, I'm here to explain the basic um, naps that the chef needs to have before he or she goes to the kitchen and how to use it. Yes, so I'm going to start with um, number one knife, which uh, is a chef knife. So a chef knife, knife has eight to ten inches, and we use it to uh, to, to, to do tasks like slicing. Uh, for example, let's say maybe you slice onion or carrot, so we use this knife. And secondly, um, we have a bread knife so what we use it uh, we use to, uh, to cut bread to cut cakes and it has um, it has eight inches long and another one um, we have a, a paring knife so a paring knife it has three to four inches so we use it to to cut fruit, to cut uh, vegetable and herbs. So most of the time, I like to use this one because every time at home, I use this one. So I'm sure even you use this one. Okay, so, and um, another one, we have a, a, a utility knife. So a utility knife has four to six inches and we use we use it to slice, to, 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 we use it to slice sandwich and to slice fruit and also other herbs. Um, I love this one as well. Yeah, and the last one is um, uh, the last one is a, a boning knife. So a boning knife we use it um, to, to, to to remove uh, bones from the meat. From the meat, it, it can be a fish or it can be any meat. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So. I'm gonna do um, one example of how you handle your knife. So, okay, your knife is like this, and then you, you must handle it like this. Don't don't just do it. Don't do, don't just do like this because you're gonna just cut your, your fingers. You need to hold it like this. You need to hold it like this, and then when you're chopping something, your hands must be must be like this. Make sure that. Um, a, a, you are careful with your with your fingers when you're cutting anything that you want to cut. So I'm gonna do exactly with on you. Okay, so make sure that you remove. So you're gonna take um, one of your uh, one of the slices of your onions and you're gonna face it down, and you're gonna start spice slicing the white. But most of the meals they go with the, the medium days. Alright. Okay, 
Okay, the second one. Okay, so now um, we're going to apply the jewelry cuts. So we mostly use the jewelry cuts when you cut carrots. So you slice or you divide. Okay guys, the most important thing that you need to do um, when you're cutting anything that you cut, you need to make the curve. And then the moment you cut, you move uh, your hands slowly, slowly. Yeah, so those are the important things that you need to master just to prevent uh, from cutting your fingers. Yeah, okay. Um, hi guys, okay, now I'm doing measurement. Um, so first of all I have this material that I use when I measure something okay. so all these things they have written here that um, it's, it's how many millimeters so I have to do um, I have to measure a, a, a wine vinegar and it's 15 millimeter all right yeah so there is my 15 millimeter I'm not sure that you're gonna see it but yes yeah so Okay, so this is my white one. Yeah, you see? Yeah, so this is my 15, 15 millimeter. Okay, then I have to measure a pop seat. Um, pop seat, and I have to use uh, 2,5. Uh, measurement two comma five measurements all right okay there is my two comma five measurement okay so you need to make sure that uh, it's it's exactly the measure so that your receipt gonna come uh, clean or is it it yeah, so you can use anything to level up. So, yeah, so you see, I'm doing a, a measurement for honey, and it needs to be, um, it needs to be one millimeter. 
care of hand to this uh, salad that I'm making. So remember, when you are doing something that is stick, when you are making something that is stick, you need to use. You need to first like um, use your oil just to make sure that it doesn't. Right. So you see. So this is my oil oil spray. Okay. Then you pour your your honey. So you can go to any store to buy your measurements because you need to make sure that when you do your receipt let's say maybe you googled or you went to social media to search it you need to use exactly the measurements unless maybe if you're not doing it for the first time because maybe because because you already know how it tastes so maybe it's legs um to you maybe it's legs uh, salt or it's legs sugar yes there you can just go extra money with your measurements and you can use your own measurements but if you have learned the receipt from uh, from youtube or from anywhere for the first time you need to make sure that you use exactly the measurement that is written down and this resource is going to help you to measure exactly exactly the measurements okay thank you